Traditionally, public health education has been a late addition, if included at all, in medical degree curricula. But at the Institute of Urban Population Health and Care at King's College London, public health education is changing. Robin Ross went to find out more. Guys in St Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust, those are trained as doctors here, receive one of the best medical educations in the world as King's College London students. The university already offers a well-established master in public health, but now, together with its NHS Trust partners, it's embedding this knowledge even earlier within the undergraduate medical programme from day one, introducing three themes, health improvement, health protection and service improvement. We will take uh, uh, 400 medical students on a totally um, revised uh, undergraduate medical degree programme which really highlights um, the importance uh, of population science and quality improvement as a required capability of all future leaders in medicine. It's all part of the new Institute of Urban Population Health and Care. The aim is to equip the next generation with the leadership skills needed to transform mental and physical health care in the UK and the world. I think we're potentially at the start of a cultural revolution where um, every doctor uh, actually goes through their career with two jobs. One, to uh, provide care for their patient, but two, to wherever they see improvement is required, whenever they feel an improvement can be made, they see their job as, as, as an improver of care as well as a provider of care. Now, that's a completely different mindset. To help students think differently, the new undergraduate programme includes a year-long placement working in areas that need improvement. These students took part in a two-month pilot scheme at St Thomas's Birthing Centre. Only 20% of pregnant women were having their risk of blood clots assessed and recorded, a leading cause of maternal death. They collected data to understand why this was happening and then came up with some creative, simple ideas. We introduced a visual um, magnetic board system, we put stickers out and posters and then we introduced a loyalty card system. By the end of our third cycle it increased around 80% with our last day at 93%. I think it was really good to sort of become part of the clinical team, do something that made an impact and hopefully um, helped patient care in the future. The pilot students have been fabulous, they've obviously put a lot of effort into a relatively short time. Having the students there for a year also enables us to do some level of integration with our teams, the clinical team that they will be working with to have longer exposure to patients, uh, to understand patient pathways and to understand the reality of changing things or improving things within the healthcare system. And I think that really is a core skill to being a better doctor. Public health is more important than ever. 15 million people in England have long-term conditions such as diabetes, asthma and arthritis. According to a recent report, UK children are at a higher risk of premature death than their Western European counterparts partly due to a lack of targeted public health policies. Dr Ingrid Wolfe is leading a programme to make sure every person and organisation involved in a child's life is part of their care. This programme is all about joining up care uh, better. So it's primary and secondary care, it's about health and education, it's about mental health and physical health. So for example, children with asthma whose parents smoke should have stop smoking services for the parents as part of their routine care. All health interventions need to be evidence-based. Public health requires many information sources. Statistics and epidemiology are important, but also the broader social scientists uh, in, are needed, behavioural scientists, health psychology, um, and increasingly even health economists are important. This means that we need to fundamentally change the way that we, we train doctors. They have to have a broader approach to the evidence base on which they make their decisions. The ambition is still to care for the individual patient, but also to nurture doctors to think big. There are times when it is important to be a follower. There are times when it's important to sort of take a formal leadership role. But what we want everybody uh, to be able to do is to speak out uh, and to recognise that more of the same is no longer uh, uh, the appropriate solution. Do you feel really like I want to go out there and help more people? Definitely. Definitely going to be a leader of the future. I think this is kind of helping me just to see what I can do and what I'm capable of and what we're capable of as medical students. Um, so yeah, definitely for the future.